Hey guys, Rory from ANS Gear. We're looking at some knee pads today. These are the die knee shin pads right here. Let's go ahead and pull these off so you can see what they look like in their true habitat, not on a piece of cardboard. So I'm gonna undo those there. There's another set in here that I'm gonna try to get out. There we go. Come on out. We don't need this part. Put that over there. All right, so this is a size small that we have right here. You'll definitely wanna check the website for size availability on these uh, knee pads to see what is there. They are marked, so you do have an L and an R on these, so you know what leg they're supposed to go on. And this kind of pad is a little different from the typical die knee pads that you'll see where they are super flexible. This has a much harder, rigid section to it. So the top right here, which would be on your knee area, has the nice compression foam right there, has good flexibility to it. But as we get down to the shin section right here, this shin section has almost like a plastic insert that runs kind of in the shape of the pad right here, which is gonna give you really, really good shin protection. Now, I've played paintball for a long, long time and I've been shot in the shins tons of times, I would assume, but I don't ever remember being shot in the shins. So this, I don't know if it is necessary for paintball, but it's gonna offer a tremendous amount of protection. So if you are getting involved in the sport and are looking for that ease of mind where you wanna be out on the field and you wanna be aggressive and in the middle of everything, but you don't wanna feel that pain factor, this is a great option for you right here. So again, hard, like I can't bend that bottom part right there. If I bent it and really tried to, I probably, well, I don't know what's in it. So I might break it if it's just a plastic insert. So I don't think it's metal in any way because I can kind of twist it, but I would really have to try and I would probably snap it or crack it, whatever it is inside there. This is a section that is when it's on your leg, it's not going to bend because your shin doesn't bend. So it offers tremendous protection through the front. Plus there is some padding around the outside of it. Um, which is cool. A little gel, little diet logo right there. On the back side, we've got a strap for both the top and the bottom. So the section that would go around your thigh and the section that would go around your calf, both have adjustable uh, strapping to them, which is great. Plus there's a little bit of a mesh net right here. So this isn't rubbing up against your calf all day long. Um, like I said, it's a little different than the typical die knee pads that we would see where they are more sleeve style with a lot more uh, compression foam inside of them and that gel foam, but they don't offer that structural rigidity that these ones do to offer the maximum amount of protection. Well, these, um, the movement factor is there. It's just very rigid, very, like I, I, can't even bend that. You can see where that plate is right there. And it does kind of have a U shape to the top of it. I can get my finger down in there. But amazing protection. So if that's something you're looking for, this is a great pad for you. You don't find this in many pads at all. So die knee shin guards. Definitely check the website to see size availability because I know that there um, uh, might be options and sizes that we might not have because we're always running through pads and always turning them over. So again, check before you buy. These are the Dai Nishin guards available at ansgear.com.